With Video Studio, you can use the chroma key tool with green screen footage to create special effects. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with difficult green screen footage that contains shadows or isn't perfectly lit by using the new blue chroma key filter. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. Ideally, your green screen footage will be well lit with a perfectly even tone of bright green, like this green screen clip here. However, if you have taken the green screen footage at home or in a poorly lit area, you might have some shadows that create imperfections when using the chroma key tool. Let me show you. So I have my green screen footage and I'm going to drag this from the library panel to overlay track one. I want this overlay to fill the screen, so I'm going to right click on the overlay on the preview pane and select fit to screen. From here, I'm going to go to the Backgrounds tab and select Solid Colors. Then I'll drag the white background color onto the video track and click and drag on the edge so it matches the length of the green screen footage. This will allow us to see the imperfections once we use the chroma key tool. Now I can double click on the overlay track on the timeline and click on the chroma key tab. Then check the box beside chroma key. I'm going to use the color dropper icon to select the color of the overlay mask in the preview pane. And as you can see, there are several different shades of green which creates a lot of imperfections to completely mask the green screen footage. When I zoom up, you can see that the footage is grainy and a bit pixelated, and it isn't showing me a nice crisp image. But luckily, we can use the new blue chroma key filter to fix this. First, let's uncheck chroma key. Then click on the Blending tab. And under Matte Modes, click on Mask Frame. Then scroll down and select the full screen white mask frame. Now go to the FX tab. And then select New Blue Video Essentials 2 from the side menu. From here, drag the chroma key filter onto the green screen footage on Overlay Track 1. This should bring you to the Effect tab. Make sure to select Chroma Key from the Effect list and then go to Customize Filter. A pop-up box will appear. Deselect Use Keyframes so that our edits will be consistent throughout the clip. From here, click on the color dropper icon and select the background color of your green screen footage. Now, as you can see, the subject is blending with the background and we want a clear contrast between the subject and background. The easiest way to do this is to select Show Mask. And what we want to see is a crisp black subject against a clear white background, which we don't yet have as you can see with this pixelated part here. Depending on the green screen footage you're working with, you'll either need to increase or decrease the sensitivity levels to create this contrast. This is something that you're going to have to play around with until you find the perfect level. I'm going to increase my sensitivity until I find the perfect level for my footage. And as you can now see, the subject is black and the background is completely white. So I'm going to unclick Show Mask. And you can see that the subject is perfectly visible against the black background in the pop-up window and also against the white background in the preview pane. Now I can select OK. I can zoom up again on the preview pane and you can see there is no longer any pixelated footage. The subject is clear against the background. I can now delete my white background and replace it with the background of my choice. If you're not 100% happy with your results, you can always go back into the new blue Customize filter and adjust the Soften or Shrink settings to get rid of any faint green outline that you may have left around the subject. Finally, you can reposition the overlay so that it looks natural in front of the background. And now when we preview our video, you can see it's much more smooth and clear. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.